going to be trying out a new clothing subscription service from Ever Eve called Trendsend. This is what it looks like. It comes in a box to you and you get three curated outfits. First thing I'm doing is I am opening up the box and I'm gonna pull out the paperwork and see what they have to say. First thing is you get a little, kind of like a little sleeve thing here. It says, looking good, love, ready for your closet upgrade. And then it basically gives you a little note from the stylist that put it together for you with their information and their thoughts behind this. Then there is, you've got her back, give 20%, get 20%. I will put that information down below. And then you also have the paperwork, I'm folding it over because my information is at the top, that has all of the information on each piece and what it costs. I'm gonna take a moment and show you, the box is pretty darn heavy. And when you open it up, the outfits are actually packaged together, which is pretty cool because every other service I've always gotten just kind of explained to you. So this is actually packaged and wrapped together. So there are three different looks inside of the box with all of the stuff inside of it. And I just want to see what else comes in here. Then down at the bottom, you have a bag and this is to the post office and this is how you are going to be sending it back and it is already labeled. So if you are new around here and you like this style of video, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here on my channel. Also, if you want outfit inspiration, outfit ideas, things like that, definitely check out my Instagram as well. But we're going to jump into trying these three three outfits on together. I'm going to show you it's styled top to bottom. They do not do shoes, so I will put my own shoes in here, but let's get right into it. This is outfit number one. The shoes, as I mentioned, are my own. They are booties that come up to here, which this style of booty actually for me works perfectly with this style of kind of straight leg jean. This is called a 90s pinched waist by A Gold or A Goldie. Um, I own a couple of their jeans. I will say I have the 90s pinch waist jeans, but not the distressing. I also have a pair of frame jeans that actually are right over here that have a very similar look to this. So I think that I don't need the jeans and for that price point, I do like this style. If you are worried about your middle section, feel a little bit more self-conscious about your belly area, a more structured jean like this actually gives you a little bit more smoothness in the tummy area. We always think that stretch jeans are our best option when we're like not comfortable with our belly area, but actually more structured ones that don't have as much give, which may not be the most comfortable, are more flattering because they actually suck you in and keep it in, whereas a stretch allows it to come out. This also gives a nice waistline to it if you don't have that naturally pinched waist, which I do not anymore. Um, I love the look of these jeans. Like I absolutely love these. If I didn't own the same thing without the distressing, I would be keeping them. I'm gonna talk about the jacket and then I'll go into the shirt. The jacket, it's kind of a shacket. It does not have pockets. It's from Sanctuary. I love the brand Sanctuary. I think they make amazing, amazing pieces. I love the dark button detail on this, on the pocket, on the sleeve. It is super, super cozy. It has like a little bit of that kind of like knit feel. It's very stretchy, very cozy. It is under $100. It is definitely one that I love and this one is gonna be staying. So this top, I don't do well with cutouts. I don't know, maybe it's the 90s, 80s child in me. I just, that's all I think of. I don't think this color is the best choice on me either. I think another color might work better. I do of the cutouts like this one because it's not one of those like shoulder cutouts. Those just don't work on me. This is a nice cutout. It's not too low. It's not too high. It actually goes very nice. It has a lot of stretch to it. I love the length of the sleeve. It kind of cuffs here and then has a long sleeve. I do have it tucked in. I will show it to you untucked so you have an idea of length. You can see the length on it here and where it sits. It is a very, very stretchy, stretchy material. It is under $100 as well. I think if it was in a different color, I'm gonna have to check and see. I think you can exchange items through them, which I love that part. So I will check and see what other colors this comes in. I do wanna apologize. I realize my floor is creaky right where I'm standing for this. But I wanted to jump on and show you guys the pair of A Goldie in the pinched, but in the ones that are not distressed, what it looks like with this same look. So 
gonna be honest as well, if I could only choose one, I would have, if I hadn't already worn these, I would have chosen the distressed ones that Ever Eve sent me. Um, but I have distressed versions that look similar to this, so it's hard to validate buying two pairs of the same cut of a jean. I wanted to show you quickly as well, my frame jeans that look very kind of similar have that same type of more, this one's a little bit looser in the waistband, but that same type of little bit of distressing and the cut. Yeah, this is kind of the process I do of how I decide if I'm going to keep something or not. Outfit number two, same boots I put on. This is a pair of A Gold. It's called the Riley jean. This reminds me so much of my Paige jean, which I think is called Riley as well. Um, so much of that. Uh, these are not as comfortable though. These kind of like gap in the back on me and they feel tight through here. They are not flattering on me. They're I think around 178, almost the $200 price point again. This little jacket is very, very, very cute. However, I had a jacket on today before I started this, if you saw, that is very, very similar. It's just not as cropped. Crop does not always work on me because it can draw attention to my hip area. Um, this is an expensive jacket. It looks very well made. It looks very, very nice. It's 250 ish dollars. It's super cute. It has a lot of stretch to it. I mean, I really, really like the jacket itself. Now onto this blouse. Like this is weird. It's like so stretchy, but it's cropped looking. This print is so not me. I tried tucking it in. That just drew more attention here and looked ugh. This one, I think it's around $98, but this is a no for me. I was supposed to wear this with the jacket and I'm not even gonna put it on with the jacket. This top is from Citizens of Humanity. This is not flattering. First of all, our cutouts must be back in again, coming in spring, right? I am somebody who I'm larger chested. I can wear a strapless bra, but like, I just have on a regular bra right now. I'm like, you see it everywhere. This top is like, as you can see, these jeans are way too tight and just not flattering on me. This top just shows every single lump, bump, detail, everything. This one again is a fail. And I just want to start by mentioning as well that Midnight Seascape top, that printed top, was so hard to get off for as much stretch as it had, like this way. It did not move this way and was so difficult to get off. Outfit number three. Okay, so there's a few things. These leather joggers, faux leather joggers, are from Commando. I have the Spanx faux leather joggers. Um, I'm going to say a few things about these. One, I am personally not a fan of the brand Commando's faux leather stuff. It just doesn't have the same feel to it. And I find like when I go to get in the car, when I go to sit down, it catches like it's, it's a stickier feel. I feel like these ones are a little bit more form fitting than the Spanx ones, but I also, I think I went up a size in the Spanx ones. They are flattering on. They are $150. They have pockets. They have the waistline, but I don't need two pairs of faux leather joggers. Now on to the top. This top is from Paige. It is called the Genie Top. It is pretty much completely see-through. You would need some sort, I mean, you wouldn't have to, but I would personally wear some sort of tank underneath of it. It is $250. I personally, for this type of top, prefer frame tops if I'm gonna spend that $200 mark on a top. And this one, to have to layer something underneath of it, the fact that it doesn't come with a cami or something. And I'm not a big floral person. In my prints, I like them to be stripes and maybe some leopards that are more muted or animal prints, but I'm not a big print person altogether. And then these earrings. These earrings are probably one of my favorite things. They are by Ever Eve and they're called the Courtney Circle Earring. I think they were $35 or something like that. I love these. These are definitely a keeper. I will put a close up in here of these so you can see them. But I'm gonna go and take a look. I will say that I am considering keeping the A Goldie jeans and these are staying and then also the sanctuary top is definitely staying. But I think if you purchase four items, you get a discount. I will put all of that information down below. 
if that is true, I am going to look into that first kind of cutout top and see if they have another color to it. But if you want all of the details on my final thoughts and all of the details on how their service works a little bit better, stay tuned. That's coming up next. Thought I would take you guys through since I have never checked out with them before. Let's see how this works. So we're going to go through and this was outfit number one. These ones I am still considering. This I'm keeping. This I might want to do. You can see the stylus notes up at the top here. Some of these items I will say when they sent you what the outfit was going to look like didn't give an actual photo. So we're going to click continue to check out. So these I'm not sure on yet. This I'm definitely keeping. Perfect fit. Totally my style. It's a great price. Okay. And then let's see if we can exchange this one. Oh, it's just a size. Darn it. No. Hmm. Do I like that color enough? So I, that one I'm going to have to think about. This one I'm going to return. Um, I have something similar. Go through and review it and then kind of make any changes. Okay, so because I kept four items, I would get a discount. So I have to stop and think, and this is where I'm gonna stop for a minute and try and decide. Um, there's a styling fee credit, it was only a dollar. I have to go, okay, now is this how I wanna keep this or should I go in and change anything? I wanted to show you real quick, uh, it does bring you back into this after you're done. And so what it is, is you see a photo and it says, is this your style, yes or no? Um, and so I'm going to go back through this and kind of fill it out and do this. Another thing I want to, so see it, ask your body shape, how tall you are, what sizes. So I'm going to go back through and double check all of this. I also want to mention that as far as shipping, Nordstrom does pick up at your home, whereas this one, you do have to go take it to the post office. So I put this top back on to finish up this video because I wanted to see what my thoughts were on it because this was the main piece that I was kind of flip-flopping between. And I'll tell you, I actually like it the more I put it on. I did play with it with a couple other pairs of jeans and stuff. It is very flattering. It doesn't hold into any areas. It doesn't show any imperfections. It really is great. These earrings, I love the jeans. I was like, at first I was like, I don't need them. They're so similar to my other pair, but then I put the other pair on and the frame ones on, as you saw, and I really love those jeans. It's such a great jean brand for a really structured jean. I just love the look of it, and I'm really into that style of jean right now so that one is definitely a keeper and then back there I'm also keeping the jacket that went over this so the funny part is I kept most of that actually I kept everything of the first outfit and then I kept one item from the third outfit which was just kind of a little random thing so as I mentioned there is a 20% off discount code that I can share with you guys you guys will have the same option to share it with other people you know I then get 20% off my next order, you get 20% off. But overall, some key things that I wanna talk about that I really enjoyed and some things that I didn't versus let's say Nordstrom trunk. I'm not gonna compare it to Stitch Fix or any of those other ones because I don't feel like they compare. So no stylus fee, love that. I love on every that you get a discount for buying multiple items. Nordstrom does not offer that as an option. Then I love the fact that they give a 20% off discount to share. I have a $50 off discount to share through Nordstrom trunk service. I don't know because this is my first trunk or my first service with Ever Eve if they provide the same stylist. That used to be my favorite thing about Nordstrom Trunk. However, they discontinued that and you don't have the same stylist time after time. Um, most places don't have the same stylist doing it time after time, but I would be interested to find that part out. I love, love, love that the outfits come curated 
in tissue paper together so you know exactly what it is. I also love that they're already unwrapped and folded. With Nordstrom, they come in the plastic bags that they came in and things like that. It just feels like it got shipped from their processing center where this felt like someone put this together for you. So I really do like that more personalized touch to it. I did go through and fill out the stylist questionnaire and what I was looking for and things like that. Um, I need to go back in and check about the prints because that was my main drawback with some of the prints. But those are my key things that I really liked about this and disliked about this. The biggest dislike would be just I felt like I got a lot of items that I already had and maybe it's just something that they weren't able to realize but that's definitely a little bit of a learning curve there on both sides. So I hope you enjoyed this video on my, my Ever Eve Transcend box. If you are new around here and this is your first time watching my video and you made it this far, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here. And as I mentioned before, if you want to see more outfit inspiration, how I'm going to style the things that I got, go check out my Instagram page as well because I do have both reels, photos, and stories showing those type of things over there. And if you have any questions I am always here to answer them so please feel free to put them down below and as always guys thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day